Hello, you guys. Today we're making something amazing, Italian milk cake, also known in Italy as torta paradiso. Imagine a thick layer of milk cream sandwiched between two incredibly soft and fluffy vanilla sponge cakes. It's heavenly. I'm excited because today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and the communities that are just right for you. There's something for everybody, guys. Right now, I'm following a food photography class, which I'm loving. You guys know I run this channel by myself, so for me, it's very important to understand all aspects of video production. I'm hoping to become better, you know, at framing and lighting, and Skillshare has definitely helped with that. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, if you click the link in the description box below, you'll get two months free trial. And now, on to making the delicious cake. So to make torta paradiso or Italian milk cake, we need a sponge cake base which holds up beautifully and retains its super soft texture even in the fritz. I have an entire video dedicated to cake science and the different types of cakes and when to use them and I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to learn more about cake science. Like any sponge cake, we need to start by whipping the eggs, in this case egg whites. I've added half a teaspoon of lemon juice to stabilize the eggs. And once they start to foam up, you can start adding the sugar gradually, one tablespoon at a time. The sugar not only is it meant to sweeten your cake, but it gives structure to the meringue, which is important for the rise and texture of the cake. You want to whip the eggs until they triple in volume and reach glossy, stiff peaks. At this point, your meringue is ready and you can set it to the side. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. In this other bowl, I have the egg yolks and vanilla and we're going to add the milk and melted butter. You're going to quickly mix these wet ingredients until combined and then you can add the flour, baking powder and cornstarch, which will lighten even more the structure of this cake. It's going to be one of the softest, fluffiest cakes ever. I did sift the dry ingredients off camera and you do want to be careful, do not over mix these as soon as you don't see any more flour, stop mixing. To this, we're going to add two to three big dollops of the meringue that we made before, which will help loosen and lighten this mixture. So you can be quite aggressive with these first dollops. However, when you incorporate the remaining egg whites with the cake batter, you do want to gently fold them in. That way your mixture doesn't lose too much air. I love the look of this cake batter. It looks like a fluffy cloud. You're going to transfer the batter into buttered and floured cake pans lined with parchment paper. Spread the batter as evenly as you can and you're going to bake these cakes in a preheated oven at 160 degrees celsius or 320 fahrenheit for around 20 to 22 minutes. Do the toothpick test. If it comes out clean, the cakes are ready. You'll notice these cakes as they cool, they will slightly deflate and pull away from the sides. That's perfect. It's completely normal. You're going to let these cool in their pans for about 5 to 10 minutes and then you can turn them over onto a rack or in my case parchment paper and let them cool completely. Okay so while those are cooling we're going to make the milk whipped frosting which is delicious guys. Okay you'll need some heavy cream, sweetened condensed milk, and vanilla. The sweetened condensed milk will replace the sugar in this frosting and it will give your cream that distinct delicious milk flavor which makes up this cake. You do want to make sure you whip this well until stiff peaks because the middle layer of this cake consists of that thick layer of milk cream. So to hold up it needs to be stiff. Okay so on to assembling the cake. Once the cakes have completely cooled to add the middle cream layer. You can use a normal spatula. However, I like to use a piping bag and I highly recommend you do the same if you can. Not only is it faster, but it allows you to pipe the frosting high. Take an offset spatula and gently smooth out the frosting. Try to not remove it. As I said, we want a tall milk 
cream layer. Add the other cake layer on top. Now traditionally the top is just dusted with powdered sugar. You can do that. However, I personally like to add another thin layer of that milk cream on top. If we're going to make a milk cake, we're going to do it right. <laughs> okay, smooth the top with a bench scraper and you're going to cut all four sides of the cake to reveal that beautiful milk layer. The sides were eaten guys, don't you worry, cake never goes to waste. This looks so fantastic. If you like creamy cakes, this one is for you. It's like eating a milky mousse and a fluffy vanilla cake in one. This cake will melt in your mouth. It's amazing.